one of the greatest molecular biologists of our age, pioneer scientist and discoverer of the wave genome, Dr. Peter Gayayev died on November 17, 2020, aged 79. No mention of his passing can be found in Russian news outlets. And consequently, nothing of the news has yet reached the interested public in the West. Dr. Gayayev's life and achievements are too profound and significant to quietly go back to normal. His discoveries have the potential to change our whole perception of life and existence for the better. I therefore feel impelled to encourage everybody with an interest in the future of science and of life on this planet to study his work. I have followed Peter Gayayev since 2001. I was intrigued by the results of Gayayev's experiments and the concept of the wave nature and field behavior of chromosomes because such a possibility had been described in The Keys of Enoch by J.J. Hertog, a visionary text of spiritual scientific ideas that I have been teaching for the last 20 years. In this book, it is said that future, quote, bioengineers will have the ability to transmit a genetic code by laser engineering to members of another race and that quote man will be able to understand this transfer principle by employing a light beam with a specific wavelengths on a chromosome i was subsequently privileged to work with academician Vlail Petrovich Kasnachev and Dr. Alexander Trofimov and it is their Institute of Cosmic Anthropoecology Novosibirsk that is also the origin of the career and research of Peter Gayayev. There, the electromagnetic communication of living cells originally discovered by Alexander Gurvich and later expanded by Fritz Popp and others, was first documented in experiments. For anybody who is yet unfamiliar with the work of Peter Gayayev, I have produced an extensive video presentation about the wave genome for the Solari report. And I humbly suggest to review it in order to, to begin to appreciate the revolutionary nature of this research and what it means to literally each one of us. In 2012, we invited Dr. Gayayev to the Academy for Future Science European Conference in Austria, where he gave a two hour presentation to almost 600 participants present. And I last saw Peter Gayayev in 2019, at last year's TCCHE conference in London, where we both spoke on the multidimensional aspects of the genome. Peter Gayayev's work and legacy is groundbreaking. Not only did he show that the living organism's genetic information is unified in what he calls a chromosome continuum, a kind of stable wave train that travels throughout the organism along the highly ordered geometric structure of the DNA molecule. This grid or quasi-crystalline gel state stores the genetic information in form of electromagnetic and acoustic holograms, which he recognized as the true source of the blueprints of life and biological function. 
what is more, the spectrum of this electromagnetic holographic code can be captured through laser interferometry using a broadband laser that is focused onto the DNA, which is equally laser-like in its highly coherent photon emissions. In this way, an electromagnetic interference pattern is created that can be stored and transmitted. This means genetic information can be transmitted or teleported through light, even over a distance. The positive as well as negative implications are not difficult to grasp. Pathogenic organisms could theoretically be radiated over any field of crops from an airplane. And in fact, this has been done. It makes one think about the current viral pathogens going around the world. Gayayev was completely aware of the potential misuse of his discoveries and had always vehemently objected to any such practices. His own experiments, in contrast, were looking to obtain the holographic information of healthy cells and organs. And when those are radiated onto diseased cells, astonishing healing and longevity can be created. Famous is his experiment with rats that received a pancreatic poisoning. The genetic information of healthy pancreas cells were retransmitted by laser and the animals were programmed back to health. Remarkably, Gayayev narrates that after this breakthrough had been made, he returned to the laboratory one morning and found all equipment, research results and documentation removed. The lab was empty. Gayayev also demonstrated there, there is a direct correlation between the genetic code and the structure of language, which led to his formulation of linguistic wave genetics, literally the resonance between human language and the genome. Or put simply, DNA can be coded by language or words. For Gayayev, the current and outdated paradigm of molecular genetics, including CRISPR techniques and gene modification, would always lead to severe consequences and possibly irreparable damage, because the model is incomplete and erroneous, as it ignores the quantum optical and wave-linguistic principles of DNA. Dr. Peter Gayayev's discoveries and those of academicians Kasnachev and Trofimov, Gennady Shipov, Hartmut Müller, Fritz Popp, Luc Montagnier, Jacques Benveniste, Carlo Ventura and many others are a complete paradigm shift that will one day give rise to a totally new understanding of both the biosphere as well as the new sphere. With what is going on right now in so-called biosafety laboratories and with the pharmacological race to produce untested next generation DNA vaccines, this great and independent researcher and pioneer of life sciences could not have died at a more critical and precarious moment in the history of medicine. Gaia's last article was dedicated to this question of the appropriate response to fighting COVID-19. He was convinced that the quantum biological approach 
would offer much more effective cures and safe immunization without side effects, based on a holistic communication of all levels in the biome. Had Gayayev's work been recognized and studied by universities worldwide, the medical community today, I believe, would be in a different position in handling a challenging virus. Certain of his academic colleagues and people who knew him are concerned that his passing at this time, despite his age of 79, is unusual as he was known to be of excellent condition. He died of a brain edema. When in fact his official recognition may have been just around the corner, as only weeks earlier he received a letter of the Nobel Prize Committee to inform him about his nomination as a candidate for the Nobel Prize of Medicine in 2021. Imagine the dramatic impulse this could mean for the future of medicine and our evaluation of life. I pray it will still happen, even if only posthumously. Dr. Peter Skayayev's life, work and untimely death must not be in vain. I urge you all to educate yourselves and all those in your sphere of influence to know more about this groundbreaking research and the paradigm shifting implications of a higher intelligent origin of life. Dr. Gayayev himself would often open his lectures with the words from John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word became flesh as he understood directly that there is life in every word coming from divine consciousness. So I pray that he may now experience this word become light.